Hey friends, welcome back to Jedi Jive. My name is Mike, and this week we are going to watch the season and series finale of The Clone Wars. This one's been a long time coming. This one's called Victory and Death, and right off the bat, I was honestly expecting like a 40-minute plus episode, considering this is the finale of The Clone Wars, and I'm a little bit shocked, I'll say, to see that it's only 24 minutes, because from my perspective, I thought we had a lot of things we had to tie up, a lot of loose ends we had to close up before we were done here, um, but I guess this is only a 24-minute episode, so based on the last three episodes being as awesome as they were, I'm still pretty confident that this is going to be awesome. Ultimately, we know what happens to Anakin and Obi-Wan, and re realistically, like what we are going to get here is how do Ahsoka and Rex end up surviving? We know they survive, but we want to know the how of that. We also, we know Darth Maul survives, so we want to get a little closure as to how he ends up not only escaping, but how does he get back to running the crime syndicate and Crimson Dawn like we see him in Solo. Uh, another thing I'm curious about is whether or not uh, Vader and Ahsoka are going to have any, you know, force connection interaction in this. We, we know that Ahsoka doesn't know that Vader is Anakin, but there may be some sort of connection presented there that she rejects, like she did with Maul when he said that, he, you know, Sidious wants to make him uh, Anakin his new apprentice, and she just rejected that idea outright. So she, we know that Maul's already told her that, we're going to have to see some reason why she really just continues not to believe that in this. Anyway, I want to jump right in. I'm really excited, and I don't want to waste any more time, so let's do this. I'm, I hope I'm not totally heartbroken at the end of this. Leave me with just a little bit of hope, Filoni, please. Poor Rex. Set those things to stun. We're not trying to kill anyone. I'll tell that to them. <laughs> nice. Nice. The escape pods have been destroyed. Taking a shuttle is our best bet. The boys are having a rough time of it. Did you hear Maul also escaped? I let him out. <laughs> what? Why? Diversion. Come on. That's one word for it. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get a second Vader scene here. <laughs> Maul is ruthless. <laughs> Ahsoka's like set to stun. Maul is just like kill him. Oh, nice move. <laughs> just kicked this bucket right off his head. <laughs> nice. Dang, dude, Null is powerful. Oh, that's a sick shot. The hyperdrive generators are failing. Disengage. Disengage. <laughs> what an epic scene. It doesn't even look like he's exerting himself that much. It's just that was easy. That's like one of the largest things we've ever seen someone manipulate with the Force. Other than Starkiller moving a whole Star Destroyer, right? I love how Maul just stays so calm. Oh, are they slowly crashing? Yeah. Slowly crashing. <laughs> I love Maul. There it is. <laughs> and there's a couple hundred clones. <laughs> He's right. Oh, dude. You're a good soldier, Rex. So is every one of those men oh, down there. Man, dude, I'm going to cry. They may be willing to die, but I am not the one who is going to kill them. So we're just going to surrender. 
Admit defeat? Is that it? No. Well, I don't see any other option. Get Maul's help. Don't call the Martez sisters, please. I have an idea. Sir, we think Maul might be headed your way. Be aware. Hold your fire! Hang on, we have Tano and the commander. I said hold your fire, Jesse. The order was to execute the Jedi for treason against the Republic. The problem is, Ahsoka Tano is no longer a Jedi. Hasn't been for some time. Wow, oh, this might work. Hmm. Sir, you said yourself we're under special order from Darth Sidious to eliminate Ahsoka Tano. I really hope Rex doesn't have to kill Jesse. Commander Rex, you're in violation of Order 66. You'll be demoted in rank from commander and subject to execution along with the traitor Ahsoka Tano. Ready? Yeah, it'd be much like being a commander anyway. <laughs> now. Uh oh. Oh, cool. Yeah, those clones. Oh, okay. All right, Jesse's still alive. Pull her up already. <laughs> the droids are laughing. Don't leave, Maul. Don't leave. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, crap. Wow. Wow, Ahsoka's doing that one-handed. Oh no! Come on, Maul, put the ship down. Alright, so that's it. Maul's gone. <laughs> Bummer, man. Is that a Y wing? No. Yeah, it is. That's a Y wing, isn't it? <laughs> Oof. Oof. Yikes. Wow. Are you serious right now? <laughs> Over here! Wow. Oh. oh! You'd be getting hit with so much debris. The music is intense. Oh, wow. Come on! Wow. That was a crazy scene. When Jesse and all them must be dead now, right? Oh, that's heavy. Is that Jesse's helmet in front? Yeah, it is. Oh, man. It's so sad. I feel so bad for Rex. Yeah, in the Ahsoka novel, she, she leaves him at the grave. Yeah. What about the other one? She only dropped one. I wonder why I only showed her, showed her dropping one. Some snow troopers.
Imperial probe droids. Oh, we finally have some some stormtroopers. Wow. <gasps> oh, I wonder how much of a step forward we've taken here. It's covered in snow now. Okay, he's gonna find the gravesite. Oh, cool. More eye. Wow, dude, that's heavy. Our very first time seeing Vader in the Clone Wars. The last time, too. Wow, what a final shot with Vader's reflection. Wow, man. I mean, so first things first, like props to Dave Filoni and George Lucas. Um, they, they really, the team over there, they really pulled together this ending amazingly. These last four episodes are, like I said, they're not only among the best Clone Wars episodes, this is some of the best Star Wars content we've seen in a long time. I am a little shocked that it was only 24 minutes. That did feel pretty short. I... I know I'm not alone when I'm saying, like, I don't want it to end here. Like, let's let's keep watching more. Like, why do they have to stop this? Why does this have to be the end? We, You know, they could... It doesn't necessarily need to be the Clone Wars, but they could pick this story up right now in a new animated show and just keep doing it. Um, I, I, It remains to be seen how much of, like, the upcoming Obi-Wan series that they're making with Ewan McGregor is going to contain some of this. I know that's going to be Obi-Wan's story. This is just a sad ending all around, and it's just so well executed. But at the same time, I'm, I still feel like I, I feel incomplete right now. I need to see more. I want to I want to see more. Like, I'm not done with these characters. I need... I know we have Rebels, but that's 15 years down down the road and it's rebels it's great for what it is but at the same time it's it's rebels has always had a little bit more of a softer uh, approach to it than clone wars and i mean i was amazed to see how much actual violence they showed in this for disney plus which has already been known for you know censoring basic things for children not to see but you know darth maul is decapitating people and cutting guys in half and you know people are dying and it's Clone Wars has definitely always had a little bit more of a serious note in that regard. And Rebels, you know, they killed some stormtroopers here and there, but it was always very sort of cartoonish and, you know, a little bit of a ha-ha factor to it. Um, but here, this is just such a serious ending. And officially, as as far as we know right now, this is the end of the Clone Wars. This is That was the last episode. We, we don't get any more. I... I just have a feeling that they were so successful with these last four episodes that it would be silly of them not to sort of pick up where they left off in some capacity. I don't know if they're, they're maybe they're going to announce a new animated show coming up that'll be the, you know, the sequel to Rebels or something. I, I you know, there's no way that they're going to build this much hype and momentum for Ahsoka and then just have this be the, the final part you know it's we know what happens in rebels and everybody's so curious what happens after endor because they teased us with ahsoka the white and that's as much as we know right now and we've had little hints and teases that maybe ahsoka is going to show up in the mandalorian in some capacity but once again that's all just speculation we don't know so i'm i'm super happy and stoked that these episodes were as good as they were i'm simultaneously sad and bummed that you know i don't have another episode to watch next week now and th th that's it and you know it was as much of a sad moment as i expected it to be and last week i actually predicted that we were that they were going to kind of give us a little bit a little nugget of hope at the end because that's sort of the main overarching theme of St star wars but it didn't really feel that hopeful <laughs> just you know vader assumes ahsoka's dead and that was that so, I mean, at least we we have it set up now so that, you know, things that it'll connect the continuity into Rebels will be there. You can watch both, and there wasn't much there that you could say, well, that doesn't really match up. But once again, the music was great. Uh, this this episode had a little bit more of a blend of, like, the epic over-the-top music and then the more subtle things like we had last week. Last week's music was just exceptional. So, I mean, 
I don't have much more to say other than I love the Clone Wars. I'm sad that it's over, and I'm proud of Dave Filoni and crew for for giving us this. I mean, we didn't even we weren't even going to get a season seven a few years ago, and as soon as they announced that they were doing this, everybody got so excited. And really, ultimately, this these last four episodes, this is what everybody was excited for because this was a, an angle to a story that we already know that we 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 knew what happened, but we didn't know how it happened. Um, for these, for Ahsoka and Rex in particular, like I said, because Anna can and obi-wan we get to see how their story plays out in revenge of the sith so i'm going to go ahead and predict that because ahsoka is just everybody loves her and these four episodes have done nothing but promote the ahsoka character in the star wars universe in terms of how, how people and rex as well i mean rex is everybody loves rex so in Rebels, Rex and Ahsoka have a reunion. Like, they haven't seen each other in a long time. Like, maybe even since this moment. We don't know how much longer, if at all, they stuck together after this. In the Ahsoka novel, she goes through this moment. She she buries her or, you know, leaves her sabers by the grave. And then, you know, basically is, needs to lay low um, for years, even. So... The Inquisitors, We, I was actually curious if we were going to see any Inquisitor action in this. I think they, I feel like they should have at least showed some Inquisitors at the end to, to imply like, oh, like not only is Ahsoka, she didn't just fake her death and now she, like she's going to have to be on the run. Like there are going to be people chasing her trying to kill her still. So there's definitely a lot of story left to tell and I'm hoping that Dave Filoni and crew are going to be given that opportunity because if you know, if they do an animated show in the style of what we just saw of these last four episodes, everyone will watch that. Everyone will love it. And, you know, they already have all of this, this architecture built in that they can work with. Like the story is there, the characters are there, all of their assets are there. It's not like they need to create a new show with new rigs and new materials. Like they can just pick up where they left off i don't i'm i'm assuming they put in a decent budget to this because of all the music and some of these special effects scenes this is some of the most elaborate clone wars we've seen so it's not like this was cheap to make this is obviously cost a lot of money but we know disney has that money i want to see disney spend that money i it, it almost feels cruel for them to to do this to give us this fantastic ending and then oh that's it you know i i'm really hoping that we're going to get more of this and i I'm going to expect some good things from Star Wars moving forward. I know that we have like the, the high Republic scene coming up um, in books and novels and stuff. I don't know whether that's going to translate to an animated show or not. Obviously when rebels ended, everyone was like, Whoa, like what happens next? We need to, this need, why would they end this? This story is prime to keep going. Like we want to know what happens with Thrawn and Ezra and definitely Ahsoka. So Moving forward, Ahsoka is a character that is still alive. Everybody loves her, and there's there's more story to be told. So I'm looking forward to when that happens, because we know it's going to. So I'm stoked. I'm sad that it's over, but I couldn't be happier with the results. So if you guys love what you saw, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Bye.